Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Carter. Welcome to my channel. Thanks again for the support. Today we're going to be talking about what are the best ways to bottle feed a baby goat. You can see here, I'm offered this baby goat an empty bottle and because he's hungry, he attempted to suckle on it. Unfortunately, there was no milk at this point. But this is a good way to test, can this goat suckle properly or is it hungry and ready for a feed? Now, if you're going to be bottle feeding an orphan animal, the best, well an orphan goat in this case, the best thing to get is 100% pure goat milk. Nothing substitute actual real goat milk. And I had a bottle of goat milk here freshly squeezed from the mother of this kid. Now before going forward, I'll tell you, this is a kid that was born in triplets and the mother abandoned it. So the owner had to actually bottle feed it. They were bottle feeding it with regular milk, but if you saw our how to milk a goat video, you would know. I just filled this bottle of milk from the mother goat. And I'm going to use it to show you how to properly bottle feed a baby goat. If you ever had an orphan animal before, you would know they would recognize the person who normally feeds them pretty much as their mother. They also recognize the bottle. So initially this kid did not recognize me, but he recognized the bottle and he came in to feed. When you're feeding a kid, what you should do is make them stretch their head out and put the bottle in a position that they will feed on it similar to they would feed on their mother's breasts. There is certain anatomical structure in a butt in a baby goat's neck that cause the milk to bypass the rumen and go straight into the main stomach. Now, if you put it in the right posture, as you can see here, it's slightly crouched down and extending his head forward. It can get a full feed without causing secondary problem, like um, what you call acid reflex, for lack of a better term. But know that if it's not in the right posture, you don't put it on its back or feed it like you're going to feed a baby puppy or a human baby because you can cause milk to go into the rumen and the high protein would cause gas to build up in the rumen and they would have a lot of acid building there. And that can be dangerous for a baby kid. But yes, you put the bottle there. You don't actually force the kid head on the bottle. If you put the bottle in the right position, as you can see here, he's happily wiggling his tail and he's suckling. Now you can leave them there for as long as they want. Now, um, another thing people always ask me, how much do I feed a baby? Now this is a kid in its first week of life. It can actually take a lot. It drank six ounces before that and it would drink another five ounces there. Now you let them drink as much as they can at this stage. So you let them drink to their full. Um, the other thing you would have to do, you need to feed them every two to four hours. Feeding them at those intervals not only replicates how they would normally feed on their mother, but it also allows them to maintain a healthy blood sugar level, a healthy growth rate, and as well a healthy hydration status. That is the most important part, especially in the tropics. I've seen many orphan goats that was bottle fed by an owner who has been dehydrated because they did not feed them enough milk at an adequate interval. Now, if you're walking and you cannot carry this goat to walk with you in a pouch or something, you can develop a mechanism where you can probably hang maybe a bottle or two of milk in the day to substitute for you when you're gone. And then you feed a higher amount before you go and a higher amount when you come back. Now that's something you can do or you get someone else to feed the goat for you. But definitely a two to four hour feeding interval is ideal for especially the first week of life in growing an orphan goat. Another thing people commonly ask is when do I stop feeding? When did it have enough? The good thing about baby goats would be they will tell you when they had enough. They will nurse their fill and stop. May try a couple of times again, but if you see here, he shake his head off, he refuse the bottle, and then it will walk away. If you feed it to the point where it did that, then you have fed it enough, you've done your job, you've given it the best possible chance of a good start of life. Thank you. Hopefully you learned something from this video. Leave what you think in the comments below.